That major breaking news from overnight, deadly tornadoes cutting a path of destruction from the south to the Midwest. Kentucky's governor reporting at least 50 people killed, but says that number is likely much higher. And take a look at this video from Mayfield, where buildings have just been reduced to rubble. Officials say preliminary investigations indicate one tornado may have stayed on the ground for more than 200 miles. Kentucky's governor is declaring a state of emergency and calling in members of the National Guard to assist in search and rescue efforts. Tornadoes also hitting an Amazon warehouse in Illinois and a nursing home in Arkansas. But we start with ABC's Elwin Lopez in Mayfield, Kentucky, where we understand the damage there is extensive. Good morning, Elwin. Yeah, Marcus, extensive and devastating. Take a look at this car crushed into what's left of what we've been told is a church barely recognizable. Now, block after block, piles of debris, complete destruction. The governor here calling this the most severe and deadly tornado event in Kentucky history. This morning, dozens dead as tornadoes rip across multiple states. The worst hardest hit, Kentucky. We believe our death toll from this event uh, will exceed 50. Kentuckians probably end up closer to 70 to 100 lost lives. The town of Mayfield flattened. The streets covered in debris. The courthouse clock tower collapsed, falling to the ground. Neighborhoods unrecognizable. Also in Kentucky, a train derailment caused by the tornado. The National Guard called in to help with the devastation. This is an evolving situation. As the situation continues to develop, we will call upon further members of the National Guard. In Edwardsville, Illinois, officials responding to reports of multiple injuries after the roof of an Amazon distribution center partially collapsed. Deaths now confirmed at the Amazon facility. And at a nursing home in Arkansas, at least one person was killed and five injured. First responders rescuing at least 20 people trapped inside. And guys, as we were making our way over here, we saw a woman who was pulled over on the side of the road. We asked her what she was doing, if she needed help. She said that she was looking for her aunt. Her aunt is 70 years old. It just shows you what some families are going through this morning. What? Just incredible destruction. I know officials are worried about what they're going to see as the sun comes up this morning, too. Ellen, thank you. For more now on the tornado outbreak and what's ahead, let's get to Rob Marciano. And Rob, the threat isn't over here. And it's, it's not, Whit. And what's worse about these sort of tornadoes this time of year is that the night are so long and these when they happen at night obviously become even more dangerous and more deadly and by the looks of this one uh, at least an EF4 if not an EF5 with that sort of damage and being on the ground for that long it affected more than one community all right now we still have that tornado watch that's out warnings have been popping up all morning long we are starting to stretch out this energy a little bit the center of the low is going up into Canada so we'll see I think a lesser threat today but nonetheless there will still be a threat and we have tornado watches out at seven eight nine o'clock in the morning so that that tells you something about where the atmosphere is right now. So this cold front will continue to push off to the, to the east. By the way, some snow and wind on the back side of this. this is a significant storm here as we head into the middle of December. But this is the area that we think we'll see a tornado threat today from Jackson, Mississippi, up through Birmingham, Huntsville. East of Nashville, where is where, where that's where the line is right now, and getting up across the Ohio River Valley, and this does push the East Coast, weakening as it does so. But the next few hours certainly will continue to be dangerous. Dangerous, Lindsay, back over to you. And Rob, you were just mentioning those long nights. Joining us now is Chris Jackson, who was on the ground last night tracking the storm across four states. Thanks so much for joining us, Chris. Talk to us about the damage that you've seen. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, we're currently at the Mayfield Consumer Products on Fulton Road, just outside of uh, Mayfield, Kentucky. Here, and you know, just as you, as you guys have alluded to, the damage is, uh, you know, considerable, extensive, catastrophic. Any of those adjectives uh, would be appropriate here. And you know, we tracked this tornado across four states, beginning uh, yesterday um, afternoon or yesterday, I guess, early evening uh, near Waldenburg, Arkansas. And uh, we stayed with it as it uh, moved up through uh, northeastern Arkansas to the Big Hill of Missouri. Uh, we, it uh, crossed I-55 about a half a mile in front of us, uh, just south of Haiti, Missouri. And then we continued to stay with it as it, uh, as it moved through uh, northwestern Tennessee and up into uh, uh, southwestern Kentucky. I mean, the, just the, the damage that we've seen along its path has been, it's been catastrophic the entire way. How does this storm compare with others that you've seen in the past? Uh, you know, personally, with the tornado damage that I've seen, I, we had an EF4 in South Carolina last year on April 13th, and and this damage, uh, in comparison, is is, in my opinion, not comparable, uh, just because this, 
you know, the scope from what we can tell here on the ground is just, you know, you have entire commercial buildings that have just been completely uh, demolished. All four, all four of the walls are gone. Some of the buildings have been uh, partially swept away. Uh, all the trees have been debarked. Uh, it, it's just a, a, a pretty pretty dire situation out here. And, and of course, you're a professional. You track and chase these storms for a living. Were you fearful at any point for your own safety? Uh, no, we, uh, you know, we try to maintain a, a safe distance from the tornadoes, have a healthy respect for them. You know, while we, while we try to do, we do try to get close and document them, especially and help out, our, you know, folks at the National Weather Service and, and media partners. We do have a safe respect and, and understand what the power of these tornadoes can do. So we don't try to put ourselves in harm's way at, at any chance, at, you know, whatsoever. So at, last night, we, I 55 was the closest encounter we had. And, and like I said, it was about a half a mile in front of us. It was a big tornado, it was a strong tornado, but we, we were in a good position pretty much the entire night. What are the weather conditions at this hour? Right now, it's, uh, it's actually. Um, it's mostly clear. I can see the stars out here. The winds really started gusting over the last about hour and a half. It seems like we're probably getting some surface gusts here, about 30 miles an hour or so. Chris Jackson, stay safe. Thank you so much for your reporting for us. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. Certainly some difficult days ahead there. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.